Hello, in this video I'd like to show you some work I've done uh, regarding references and radii. Before references were part of the publish control component, but now I've separated them into its own um, component called publish reference, and it's indicated by this small clip up here. And what it is, is it's a, a reference manager that allows you to uh, control your references in a much more um, precise manner. So at the top here you have the ability to browse any uh, path within the cloud server and it will reveal the content uh, of that path. So let's just go back to public here where I have some uh, random files from, from users. So by double-clicking double a reference you can add them to a reference collection. So let's do that. Let's take this one and the small statue and a point cloud up here. So now I have uh, three references in my collection that I wish to use in the project. And you can see that they are by default, they are inactive. I can see the name of them and where they are because they could be coming from different paths. So they're inactive. I can also see that they are visible. That means that when the reference is loaded, it will be visible. I could also choose to load references and then initially they will be invisible and then later uh, turn them on uh, and have them visible. So now if I turn one of them active, it immediately uh, loads the, um, it into the viewer and I can go through them here, making them active. There's a small statue over here, and then there's a point cloud at the very end here. And you can also see them appear over here as the stream that has point cloud and mesh, and the other one just has a mesh, that's the statue, and the other one in the behind here is only a point cloud. And then I can simply uh, change the visibility of them directly within the component here, and they will appear immediately as I change the visibility. Before they would have to be cleared or, and reloaded and recreated, but now they're all uh, ready. Um, and you can see them uh, turning on and off over here, uh, just like you would uh, turn them off uh, directly in the viewer. You can also see here that if I try and load something that is already loaded, now I can see I have stream already loaded, and I try and load it here, it will simply say that content is already loaded. And you can see it does it for all of them. So it knows what references are already loaded, so you don't have to uh, reload something and spend time uh, reloading it. Um, uh, another thing is that they exit um, the component as uh, reference files that I can use elsewhere. So here you can see I have three references coming out and then I can for example have it have them enter a, a control component as regular content. And in this case for example I would have three streams uh, references. They would be active and they will be visible. If they were inactive you can see them disappear now there's only two but I have them active. So these three in a scenario would be loaded and visible uh, once you enter that uh, scenario. Another use case is that it will also save together with a file. So before, if you wanted references, they would have to be sort of part of the uh, control component and triggered by a, a scenario. But now you can simply add them to a save component. And in this case, I would create a save file. And upon opening that file, it would immediately uh, pick out those three references and load them into the scene uh, on opening of that file. That's it for this time.